Hello everyone, it's your favorite YouTube guitar expert. And today we are going to have a look at the vintage guitar V62 Icon in Distressed Ash Blonde. Now, before we dive into this beauty, let's quickly go over some specs. I don't want to waste too much time on them because time is money. So the V62 Icon has a wonderful Eastern Poplar body. Don't ask me what that is because I have no idea, but it looks beautiful. It's a very nice slab of wood. It's not a light guitar. It does feel quite meaty. It's nice. It's the right weight actually for a telly because if you get a light telly, you lose some of that punch. So very nice body. It then has a hard rock maple neck in typical telly construction with a beautiful rosewood fingerboard and, and pretty traditional 21 medium jumbo frets. We then get onto the interesting bits. As with all vintage guitars, we have the unique feature of having all Wilkinson hardware on it. So we have a WVC bridge with three barrels, and these are unique designs to Wilkinson. These are slightly different than your traditional barrels because they have a special design here that makes it easier to get your intonation right, which is something that many of you know that tellies with this type of three barrel bridge often intonation is a bit hit and miss, but this solves all the issues. Moving on to the pickups, again, quite traditional. We have two Wilkinson design pickups. I believe they're the WVS Alnico 5 pickups. Then along with that, you have a standard three-way blade, a master volume, and a master tone. Last but not least, most important bits up here, Wilkinson Deluxe Tuners, and a beautiful Graftech nut. But enough about the specs, we are all here for one thing, and let's talk about how the guitar feels and sounds. So the first thing that you'll notice when you pick this guitar up is one, the weight. It's very solid. It's not overly heavy, but it is very solid. It feels good. It's got the right weight, the correct weight for a Telecaster or a vintage, excuse the pun, for a vintage historical Telecaster. The second thing, is the neck. The neck feels very, very nice. It's not a thin neck. It's somewhere in between. It's got the right amount of meat on it. It feels very good. It's because also of the relic job, it's worn in, but it has this satin finish, which feels great. It's a fast neck, but it's not overly thin. So it's an appropriate neck for this style of guitar. Staying on the neck, the frets feel fantastic. They are very nicely polished, and if you run your hand on both sides of the neck, nothing is sticking out, nothing is catching. It feels very, very good. They are very nicely rounded at the ends and feel great the whole way up and down the neck. No dead spots, nothing. Very, very nice. I have to say, this is a common theme of vintage guitars, at least the ones that I've tried, and honestly, well done because... This personally is what makes or breaks a guitar for me, is how the neck feels and how the frets are. So amazing job there. Yes, I know what you're gonna say. Why are you not talking about the elephant in the room? The distressed finish. Oh my God, it is absolutely stunning. I've gotta say, I've now played quite a few of the Vintage Icon Distressed series guitars, and it adds so much mojo to it. But not only do they look fantastic, but they also feel so much better. It does feel like someone's played this guitar for a long time. The neck is perfectly worn. You can see it. It's really nice in the right ways. You can see the attention to detail. The base plate here is rusting. The same thing with the bridge and the control area. Beautiful, beautiful detail there. Um, it just feels very, very nice. I really like the distressed finish because it has that satin feel to it. The guitar doesn't at all get slippery in any way. So that is a massive plus. Again, 
as usual, I've got to say, the attention to detail is very nice. Everything feels great. Everything feels very solid. And I'm really enjoying this aspect of it. But what about the sound, you will ask? Well, let's listen to it. So hopefully you enjoyed those short sound clips, but let me tell you, this guitar sounds amazing. I am very much a Telecaster player. I love the simplicity of it. It's just pure rock and roll. It's a simple beast, but it's hard to kind of control it. Um, this guitar has all the character of a Tele that I love. It has that aggressive bridge pickup. When you put a bit of gain on it, it sounds ballsy. It sounds very, very good. It has that throaty neck pickup, which many of you will know on a lot of Telecasters, the neck pickup can sound a bit uninspiring maybe, but this one sounds fantastic. It is very throaty. It's very rounded. It sounds great for leads. I really enjoy it. So there is no doubt that a big part of that sound is not only the construction of the guitar, but also the quality of the pickups. The pickups are really fantastic, and that I think is the first takeaway from this video. The second major point here to talk about is the construction of the gu guitar and mainly the tuning stability. This is a rock solid. I am not kidding you. I probably have only tuned it a few times, and when I do have to tune it back up, it's usually just a little bit. It is absolutely rock solid. The intonation is perfect because of the Wilkinson designed barrels here. Um, the graph tech nut certainly helps a lot, but everything is very, very well made. I also want you to note that I have not done anything to this guitar. This guitar was set up perfectly from, I'm guessing, the factory, because I don't think anyone set it up before it got to me. I literally didn't even touch the action. It was very low, no buzzing, perfect. Neck is straight with a tiny amount of bow, but very, very good. And again, the nut is perfectly cut. So 
very important. So overall, I've got to say, I'm kind of lost for words with this guitar because I think it looks great, looks fantastic. It has that rock and roll vibe that we all love, or at least I love. Um, but just the feeling, the neck feels fantastic. It feels great to play. You don't get too tired playing it. You don't, it, it fights you just the right amount, which is what you want from a telly. Pickups are incredible. Even the middle position sounds great, which I'm not a middle position kind of person, but hey, it sounds really good in this. Um, stays in tune, no issues. It is a very versatile guitar, actually. If you go beyond the kind of image that you have of a telly, it's a really versatile guitar because you can do anything from jazz, blues, hard rock on this, grunge, whatever it is, um, it actually can cope with it because these pickups are very, very responsive and they deal very well with gain. They clean up with the volume tone very well. So really versatile. I've used it on loads of different genres and I'm very pleased with how it cuts through the mix, especially. Finally, I also want to mention that Fizz is approximately, let's say it's a sub 400 bucks guitar. And I'm not going to lie to you, but I actually sold my Fender Mexican Tele for this because this kind of hit all the right areas that I thought the Fender was lacking. The Fender had very sharp frets. The action was all over the place. It actually went out of tune, I'm assuming because the nut was cut badly. And lastly, I thought the bridge pickup on that guitar was a bit too shrieky. So not powerful enough. Um, so this one really is one of those guitars that you can actually see yourself playing for a long time. And, you know, whether you are beginning or in the middle of your kind of musical journey or whether you're a pro, I really don't see any reason why this shouldn't be in your collection. It is not only a beautiful guitar, but it also sounds fantastic. It's no nonsense. There's no crap with this. Some of you may not like the fact that you can't really hide behind it. There's no gimmicks. It's very in your face. This is what you get. And your voice can really come out as an individual through this guitar. And that's what I like most about it. So to sum it up, my views are that you should stop wasting any time. Go to a vintage dealer, go on the vintage website and check one of these out because they are very, very good value for money. Um, I think it's just a fantastic guitar overall. I would not trade this for any other telly. Um, so I'll put all the usual links below. Have fun. That's the most important thing. And rock.